Today we are making handmade ribbon candy. To start, we boil sugar, corn syrup, water, and cream of tartar. We boil that to 310 degrees, and then we pour this extremely hot mixture onto the marble table. We scrape the kettle out really well. Today's batch is anise flavor, which tastes like licorice. We have added the flavoring. Notice how the flavor vaporizes after we add it. We have to mix it in quickly so that it doesn't escape into the air. When we say handmade ribbon candy, we really mean it. This batch is still very hot, so we wear heavy duty welding gloves while we are mixing the flavors in. The utensils we are using are just everyday dough cutters. Some people still can't resist playing with their food. The next step in this batch is to separate a piece for the stripe in the ribbon candy. Food coloring is added to this piece. Each flavor has a different color stripe so that it's easy to tell the flavors apart. It's mixed in really well. The stripe goes in front of the candy heater while the rest of the batch is being pulled on the hook. The pulling takes about five minutes. When the candy turns white, we remove it from the hook. We put the batch in front of the candy heater and we add the stripes. We cut the colored piece into the desired number of stripes. Today we are doing five stripes. We press the stripes into the main piece. They just melt right into place. After getting the batch into a wide flat shape, we start coaxing a ribbon out of it. Often the first piece won't have any color in it. We cut off each long ribbon using our big candy scissors and the next person takes that ribbon and twists it into the beautiful curls that make ribbon candy. The twister has between 6 and 8 seconds to form each piece and then it hardens into the shape that it's in. So this is not a job for pokey people. The cotton gloves that the puller is wearing actually help to make the ribbon candy shiny. We will make 7 flavors in one day. After all the flavors are made, we package the ribbon candy immediately so that it doesn't get sticky. Notice the finger movements of the twister. The fingers on the right hand go up and down like letting your fingers do the walking while the thumb on the left hand pushes the ribbon forward so the candy is always the right width. Here are the fruits of our labor. It only took us 12 hours to make 250 bags of ribbon candy, but we think it was worth it.